Hi everyone and welcome to Digital Perspective Tutorial and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how we can create some sort of a website for a hotel. Um, nothing fancy, we're going to have, we split this in two parts. The first part is us designing the product and the second part is us animating it inside of Adobe XD. Now, without further ado, click that subscribe and that like button and make sure you turn that notification bell on so that you get all of our latest updates and yeah, so let's just get started. So you can see here, uh, I've got pretty much a blank canvas inside of Adobe XD at the moment. Um, so we're just going to kind of go ahead and start um, almost wireframing it out. Uh, now I'm going to keep the designs very simple. Um, just going to have, let's say, uh, like a half a page. Let's see the blue lines. When the blue lines come up, you know that things are being angled properly. Um, and that's going to basically be, oh, that's basically going to be a, um the color of the half and um, let's change the background image to this now these are the color swatches i've just kind of set some components up quickly so just it doesn't doesn't take me too long to create the the files for you now i'm going to create a square while holding the shift key so that it's a perfect square i'm just going to move that into the center i'm just going to give that a brown dark brown color for now and i'm just going to type in a taste now this is good it's obviously fictional hotel um I'm just going to call this, oh, let's push this here and then drag this down. I'm going to call this hotel, I don't know, I don't even know if that's a word, but either way, right? I'm um, just going to select them both and I'm just going to use my H1 tag that I've created, which is pretty much just Playfair Display at this point. Um, now, I know what people say that Playfair Display, you know, or it's sans serif, or serif, I should say, it tends to be more like a luxury font. Well, while I agree, sometimes I don't think that's a that's a golden rule. Um, you can make sans serif look absolutely uh, luxury. So this I'm just going to create the menu. So it's going to say rooms, gallery, maybe the I don't know the concierge, yeah, concierge, and then maybe this one could be the locations, right? So just things around the area. Uh, and again. I've just got some menu set up. Now this is just using a circular standard bold um, at a font 17. I'm just going to drag that into here to about there. That's fine. And then maybe at the bottom, we're going to add something like the telephone number. I'm just going to call it one, two, three, uh, four, four, six, seven, nine, nine, zero, one. Right. And then maybe just an email address. Call that bookings. I don't know. At hotel pro com. Oh, that's not a dot, I beg your pardon. Perfect. Just size that down. Oh, spot booking from book end. There we go. Just push that down to the end. Um, with that done, maybe we just want to maybe this is so what would essentially if I break it down to you. So this is kind of the name of the hotel. This is could be like a, a room type. So this could be like a twin double bed suite or something. We just want to give it some sort of a, a kind of a description descriptive text I should say sorry um, I'm just gonna put some I'm just gonna go to my plugins um, plugins and then I'm just gonna put some content in there. it doesn't really matter to select the text short text I don't want no emojis on it and this is this is I use a social Ipsum um, generate there you go so it's about there what this basically does is is, is like a, a Lauren Ipsum generator it just generates text that's it, right? Um, obviously, I'm going to want a title, so let's call this Five Star Luxury. And um, I've got a H2 tag set up, so I'm just going to push that to the bottom. And again, this is, I'm literally only using two fonts at this point, which is the Playfair Display and the Circular Standard. Um, now, obviously, it differentiates between whether I use bold or whether I use um regular but those are the only two four families i'm using so this is now the button i'm just going to make this black for now and i'll show you why in a minute but i'm going to turn it off right because that's going to be my hover state and then i'm just going to put oh delete that just get a text and then just put book now so this will be our call to action and i just want to make it maybe the same size as the menu now I'm going to select the border and, and this and I'm going to group them together. Now the reason why I grouped them together is because I want it so that it has a different uh, state, right? So if I make it into a component, 
and then I just press the new hover state and then the hover state basically will mean that it inverts itself so it could be a white button turn the border off turn the black on right so essentially if I really quickly I shouldn't do this but essentially this will be the, the hover state right so if I go back to default state click play so then you can see that's the hover state right so anyway um, I think I'm pretty much happy with that maybe I might put I don't know um, Actually, yeah, I, I might I might just put an icon at the corner, um, maybe a user icon. So for this, I'm using icons for design, which basically is just creates the SVG icons for you. Uh, let's say this one. So then that literally just adds it into my file, and then I can just drag that into the corner. And then this could be something I don't know where a user can select or log in, perhaps, right? That's pretty much done for the first screen, I think. I'm quite happy with that. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just click and drag and duplicate while holding the Alt and Shift to duplicate the second screen. I'm gonna call this number two. And then what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna modify it, but we're gonna modify it so that we have more rooms. So this one, as I said, was the, the, the twin room, for example. But we're gonna modify that so that it now shows us different types of rooms which a user can select. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and do that first. And the way that I'm going to do that is one of the things that I don't need anymore is this. So I'm just going to delete that. I'm just going to delete this as well. I don't need that. Well, actually, I'm just going to undo that. I'm just going to delete these two. I will need this. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to size this down. This I don't need anymore as well. Size it down, push that about there, and then push it maybe to this side. And then with this text, it's going to be where we have it. So let's say twin uh, bedroom suite, right? Actually, um, I prefer it to have the same text as the menu. I want it to be a little bit bold, actually. Um, and then maybe just draw a line underneath that. I don't know. Perfect. Just push that there, make this black so we just have some consistency. Um, and then once I select all three elements, oh, wait, hold on. So you can see the text box is slightly extending above, which I don't want. So I'm going to select all these three and I'm going to hit the repeat grid button. Now, obviously, if you know XD, what this basically does is it just repeats the grid, right? Pure and simple. So I'm going to extend this so that we have one extra at the end. I'll drag this into the middle. Um, I'm just going to really quickly change these texts. So I'm just going to call this double. Uh, we'll call this king. Um, I don't know, we'll call this queen. Oh, let's go. And the mouse is acting up, here we go. So let's call this queen. And this we'll call, I don't know, superior bedroom suite, right? So we've got all our different categories there. Um, and what we're gonna do, on the last one, again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click and drag the artboard. I'll call this number three. Now, on the last one, it's very simple. I just want this to animate so that the next one shows. I don't know, maybe we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. No, I only want five, to be fair. I only want five, so I just want the next one to show. Right, uh, yep, it's about... Mm, there so it's just going to basically slide it across right that's all i want it to do um i think that's it right so now if we kind of go ahead and start um, adding the images so very simply um, i've got some images which i'm going to put so let's say for the first image i just want to drag and drop this on top of here so you have that there I and mean, i can double click it and just drag it wherever i need to to kind of better composite it um, actually, let me try this image. Yeah, I prefer that image. Right. Um, now, on the next one, I'm just going to select all my images that I have. I'm going to click on all of them and just drop it in. Now, however, for the sake of the animation, which obviously you can watch in part two, I'll put the description for that video once we put it out below. Um, we want to make sure that the first image is going to be the same as the first image here. Um, so with that image, that's this one. And then I'm just going to change the... Um, that image to that and then we'll just do the same thing again here just 
push all the images back in. Um, I mean, you obviously, I would say recommend you try to make sure that at least the images are in the right order, uh, just to make sure that you, you know, maintain some consistency, but it's really not that important, but I would say do so. Right. So now we have it. Um, I believe we're not missing anything else. Just double check, got all the menus. And then obviously once that slides down, this will slide in. Um, and then we've got the option to slide through. Perfect. That's it. So in literally no less than 10 minutes, I believe, or so just maybe under or over, um, we've created three pages and three hotel pages, very simple, very you know sleek and clean. And, and in the next video, what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and show you how you can animate that. Um, to make it kind of look fancy whenever you are displaying the prototype to, um, I don't know, a client or someone, right? Um, but yeah, hope you like this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe onto this. It does help us out a lot. Um, but yeah, and until then, be sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here um, for other tutorials that we have done in the past. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Until then, peace.